Ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's upside down. Oh, forget it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a box that I purchased. I bought it from Star City Games. Where's my, where's my cutter? I just used it. I just took it out of the box. This was delivered today. I was expecting this on Monday. Um, it's currently Saturday. And uh, guys, if you were there on release night and you saw me open my first case of Monarch, then you know that I'm, I'm a little short on legendaries and uh, I need this box to have a legendary just for my own peace of mind. Okay, look, if it doesn't have a legendary, I guess I'd, I'm not too sad about it, but uh, I, I, want a <laughs> I want a legendary, man. Come on, come on, come on. We did get some good pulls. Um, the cold foils, one of them was, was quite spicy was quite spicy and I appreciate everyone that was like giving positive comments that were uh, like you know don't worry about it like the, the one that you pulled the ledge or the um, you know the cold foil that you pulled that one that was a really good card like I appreciate that that makes me feel a little bit better but I still just want that feeling right the the, the cold foil legendary feeling I literally have not opened a cold foil legendary since Shiana which again is a fantastic pull and now like something that will never happen again um, is like something that high rarity opened on this channel was <laughs> so I, I guess I should count myself lucky that that even happened at all but I will say this too I understand that I don't even know I don't even know where I was going with it I, I was gonna say something and then I, I lost my train of thought because I was just thinking gosh dang it is this one gonna have a, like a zero legendary box this is gonna be a zero legendary box. it doesn't matter we're gonna have a good time anyway. We're gonna have a fantastic time. We're gonna open some packs. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something and now I don't remember. Oh, forget it. Forget it. I hope you guys enjoyed like opening day. I feel like that's what I should call it because that's literally what it was. Dread Screamer Red. Rift Bind. We got the uh, Hungering Slaughter Beast. War Tune Herald. Engulfing Light, which seems pretty good. I put that into a deck and then I took it out. Whoops. Uh, Overload Yellow, which is kind of interesting. Like, I don't know. It's kind of a weird card. Dominate if it hits, gains, go again. Kind of weird. It's kind of cool. I dig that. I want this camera down here. That's what our right there. That's perfect. Now I'm comfortable. Uh, Warmonger's Recital Blue. We got the Ghostly Visit Red, and we have Pound for Pound, followed by a Hooves of the Shadow Beast. Here we go, we have our first rare, which is Dusk Path Pilgrimage Red, followed by a, whoa, we start off with a Raiden Duskbane Majestic. That's a pretty good start off. And a foil red brandish. I dig it, man. That's a, that's a good way to start a box opening. I'm okay with this. All is well. Um, I do have a foil, or sorry, not a foil. I do have a Raiden Duskbane already, so I guess this makes two. I wish, I'm not gonna lie, I wish this sword were two-handed. The fact that it's one-handed is a little bit is a little bit sad. I want more two-handed swords. Like the Centauri Sabres are super cool. I want more of those. Ooh, we got a Cracked Bobble Pack. Cracked Bobble Pack. I hope you guys enjoyed the opening day, the very first day of Monarch. I really did. I, I stayed up far too late watching the 84 box opening charity stream over on Kitchen Table TCG, which by the way, you can totally go back and watch if you want to. And you should, and you should. I wonder if they can, like, you can still donate to that. That'd be kind of cool if you could. But I, I stayed up super late watching that, but I opened my own stuff. We got Invigorating Light Yellow, followed by a Red Herald of Triumph, and a Red Foil Common Smash with Big Tree. Common doesn't pop that well. Foil, not a lot of foiling on that card. Opened my own case. I'm going to open a case, by the way, if you didn't know, I'm going to open a case tomorrow, because tomorrow, maybe it's even today, you know what? You should check my YouTube channel because I'm sure I made a post about it. It's either today or tomorrow. I'm gonna open a case of Monarch with my wife for my birthday, just for fun. We're just gonna open it, hang out with you guys, talk. Um, it's gonna be a good time. I, I don't know if I'll have the patience to wait till my actual birthday, which is on Monday. Um, and if I do, congratulations to future me for having patience. If I don't, then it's literally going on Sunday. Ebb and Fold, which would look fantastic in cold foil. We have Parable of Humility, followed by another <laughs> Lumina Ascension. We now have four Lumina Ascensions, which is good because that's great trade, uh, great trade card, because that card I think is going to be 
fantastic. Foil Frontline Scout Blue, which seems weird, I don't know. You can look at Defending Hero's Hand is never really an impactful effect. Uh, and that is the Frontline Scout effect, by the way, if you didn't know. Frontline Scout, wah, dropping things. You can look at the Defending Hero's Hand. Uh, if it comes from the Arsenal, it gains Go Again, which is honestly, to me, the best part of the card. And that's not saying much, okay? It's not saying a lot. That that's the best part of the card, it's like, I don't know, man. You don't, I think there's a lot of people that think looking at your opponent's hand is like a really good. Honestly, it's just generally not necessary. And that's true of like all card games. I, I shouldn't say all, like a lot of card games. Courageous Steel Hand Red, Herald of Ravages Blue. We're Spewing Shadow, we got a Blood Tribute. Memorial Ground, Illuminate, we have the Minnowism, followed by the Stubby Hammerers. Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell, a blue Writhing Beast Hulk, and a foil yellow Glisten. This card is incredibly deceptively expensive. And the reason it's deceptive is that you need two, and you need the Spectral Shield to put it on. Now, you could play this technically in Bolton, and in that scenario, it might not be as expensive. Ah, readjust. In that, in that instance, I don't know. Hmm. It might actually be pretty fun. I don't know. Let's see. You'd, re you'd remove the counters at the end of the turn. I wonder if you could just, like... It would be cooler if you could, like, make them stick. But then you need to, like, really cost that card, like, way high. It'd have to cost, like, a ton. Red Seeds of Agony is fantastic. Second swing, we have the Herald of Rebirth. Courageous Steel Hand Yellow. Void Wraith, which is just too expensive for, like... I mean, it attacks for five. But paying two and chain doesn't seem like something I want to do, necessarily. Maybe if it just, we always put the go again on it, I don't know. Ironhide, we have Howl from Beyond, followed by the Red Captain's Call, and the Arcanic Crackle Common Foil. Which, by the way, this is this is a really cool foil. The, the way that they put the lightning and the foil around his hand, and really kind of only around the hand, mmm, solid. And I was thinking about that card, I was like, it attacks for three, costs zero, deals one arcane damage. Obviously it's like a perfect fit in chain, right? But would you play it in Viscerai? You could. You could. <coughs> Excuse me, wow, big cough. Big feels. We've got the Bounding Demigon, Herald of Rebirth, Express Lightning, I got a lot of those. Herald of Protection, Pound for a Pound, Stony Wooten Hog. You know, I'm gonna take all these commons, and I'm gonna like, I think I'm gonna make little packs of uh, commons. We've got the Herald of Judgment followed by a Rise Above and we have a Frontline Scout Yellow. I'm gonna take these uh, these commons and I think I'm gonna like make local game store like kits. You know what I mean? Cause like eventually I'm just gonna hit that point where I've opened so many boxes that I just don't need the commons. Especially, maybe it's gonna be like very soon. You know, I could hit like I don't even know. How many commons would I have literally opened? Someone tell me. How many commons would I have opened if I opened... So this is the fifth box I've opened of Monarch. Wow, that's a lot of reds in a row. It's pretty good. Overload, red, Lunar Tide Plunderer. Someone could do that math. Just count up the number of packs plus the number of commons in a pack. We have Trimmer of Urathia, followed by another Prismatic Shield. Good, I want more Prismatic Shields, and they're rares, so you don't get as many as you would think. Wow, look at that foil. Convulsions. Foil rare with the foil rare hit. We were talking about this on the stream. I am not like a big foil rare guy. I'm not like, oh sweet foil rare, sleep it. That's not my that's not my cup of tea. I don't kind of fall into that personally. But you know, if you do, let me know in a comment below. If you do, one, two, three, and four. You know, it's interesting. This is going to be the first set that we have alpha and then three weeks or four weeks later, immediate release of unlimited. And in fact, over in um, New Zealand, we have unlimited already because their alpha or sorry, their first edition. Why do I call it alpha? I'm sorry, everyone that everyone that's flaming me in the comments. You're right. I shouldn't have called it alpha. How dumb am I? Um, they have a oh, look at it. Evan. Evan, come on. What do we got? Pulping, followed by the Battlefield Blitz and a foil common pound for a pound red. Pretty cool looking card. Um, 
they had an issue with the boat carrying the uh, first edition product to New Zealand. So now they have unlimited product first and first edition second which is kind of funny in that sense, but uh, I, I, the fact that they have product at all is just makes me happy. I, I'd rather them have product than not have product, am I right? That's just the way it is, you know? Sometimes you just gotta deal with it. This crazy shipping stuff in the world, I don't know what you can really do. Ironhide Legs, I've seen this card in Cold Foil, just so you know. We have Seek Horizon Red, good, I want more Seek Horizons, and Red is sweet. Ooh, a V of the Vanguard too, I need, uh, I think I have three of these, I can't remember. This and foil would be fantastic. Foil seeds looks great too. Look at this. See if I can get it to, to do its thing. Okay, so here's things that I still want. I still want uh, the wow. That look at that. Look at that. So not only the way that they um, they like did the blur because of how close it is, the proximity blur, but then they put the foiling on it. That pops, dude. It looks so good. The attack reaction, the light warrior attack reaction, beacon of whatever. I want that card. I need some beacons in my life. I want the the majestic weapon, Luminaris. I want that card still. That's that's all my list of cards. I want that. Am I just gonna get absolutely roasted by this box too? I could very well. Like Star City Games, I need your help. We need you to just come through here. Maybe I'll just get lucky and get the the like a legendary in this box. That'd be fantastic. If we don't, we at least have another blood, blood drop brocade and an out muscle. We put an out muscle into a deck, which is great. Got the uh, red hungering slaughter beast foil. Out muscle is an interesting card in that it attacks for six, and therefore you may actually just put it into decks so that you can block prism. You know, <clears throat> you may just run it. Wow, that it still didn't rip. Whatever. There's like. I think that's the interesting thing to me about this set and about just like the introduction of a new class that operates the way that Prism does and the way that Illusionist does. The fact that we have just a brand new class that is going to make every single um, Blitz or Classic Constructed deck list change is huge. And if you don't change, then you're just saying that you're going to race Prism, right? Because if you can pop Phantasms, then you can play a longer game. So do you change your deck to pop phantasms and include like generic six attacks if your class doesn't have a ton of six attacks? Like Stony Wooden Hog, like do you play this card? Or, you know, cause you're never gonna pay two perhaps like in a certain class, you're not gonna pay two for this effect. But you know, honestly, this effect is actually pretty decent because uh, it could be a six or a seven in general, just like pretty, pretty limitedly decent. Or do you just say, you know what, forget it. I'm just gonna traditional block things and then I'm just gonna race. That's the interesting thing to me. Dimensional Gateway, I need more of those, that's good. Oh, and a Soul Reaping, I need more of those too, it's solid. And a Valiant Thrust Rare Foil, but blue, I'm not sure. Well, this one does attack for five because of the effect. It's cool foil though, cool foil. It's interesting, man. I think this, that's my favorite thing about, oh, that's my favorite thing about Illusionist. Sorry, I was stretching while I was opening that pack is that it immediately makes everybody second guess what they had already created and the decks that had already been successful. Didn't we start the last pack with piercing? Weird. Arcanic Crackle Red, Courageous Steel Hand Blue, Herald of Tenacity. I'm starting to say the word Herald of like whatever and I just picture someone named Herald, like a guy just named Herald. And it's starting to kind of get into my like, to my mindset. Like, okay, who is this person? Dreamweavers, oh, I want that in cold foil. Dreamweavers, cold foil, consuming aftermath, followed by a foil yellow dusk path pilgrimage. We started off the box with uh, foil red, dusk, dusk path pilgrimage. I think red, right? This may be the set that I just try to collect a ton of like first edition foils for. I haven't decided yet. One, two, three, four. I may go out and do it. I may just try to like foil this set out as much as possible. Not sure. Rifted Torment. I think there's gonna be a lot of people doing sort of like that thing, like selling those kinds of foils. Because I think there's a lot of people that have kind of jumped on recently and like, hey, this is this game is like really exploding in, um, in prices. And so I can like buy, hold and sell. 
and it becomes like this fun game for people. Invigorating Light, followed by, yes, a yellow prismatic shield and a Boneyard Marauder foil blue. And you know, there's nothing wrong technically with that. I mean, people that want to buy Flip, you can do that. Like, that's allowed, you know? That becomes someone's hobby to buying and flipping. That's fine. There's there's people with worse hobbies out there. It it may feel it may feel bad, you know, just like oh man, I kind of wanted that. It's just to play. I don't know. Buy the uh, buy the commons off of them if they open. Herald of Tenacity, red. Rally the rearguard blue. I actually put rally the rearguard blue into a deck because I was like, mm, I want to be able to block, but I also want blue. And so I put it in there. And then I wasn't sure about it. We have Trimmer followed by, yes, another Sonata Arconix. This card, wait, this box looks very familiar with these pulls, these Majestic pulls, because I pull like these same Majestics in a box. I don't know. I don't know if it's duplicate. It's probably not a duplicate, but I like this card. I don't think it works. Oh, and a foil, it is there. Look at that, mm, a foil via the Vanguard. I want to make it do its thing. Come on. That right there, that that's, oh, look at that. Get the foiling on the sword. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. It's interesting too, because like, so Bolton, they said his signature weapon is like Raiden Duskbane, which is right here, by the way. They said that's his like signature weapon on their like thing. And yet all of his cards are just better with the, with the two axes. Or maybe I just misread that. Maybe it's not his signature weapon. And I just totally misread that. I don't know. I made a uh, video recently, <laughs> made a video, I don't know what's going to go up, uh, talking about some of my most excited like to play cards, and uh, you're looking at several of them, we'll just put it that way. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much of the, of the list that I came up with, but uh, several of the cards that we've opened, I am excited for. Which is strange, because like, I feel like I've opened, like this is my fourth <laughs> Lumina Ascension, and this is my second Sonata, this is my second Raiden. Um, and it just makes me go, hmm, hmm, like, are there other Majestics in this set? Have I, have I gotten all the Majestics? Now I'm just getting the duplicates. Halo, that'd be a fantastic cold foil too. Howl from the Beyond, followed by the Trimmer, and a Smash with Big Tree foil. There's a lot of cold foils that I'm like, yeah, I'd take that one. Yeah, I'd take that one. And then I opened a case, and I got like duplicate foil iron hides <laughs> and a foil iron hide um, legs grown it is what it is everybody it just means we need to open more right right what do I do with all of the extras I just that's why I'm saying I gotta package them up give them to game stores to give out to people that are new to the game talisman of dowsing zealous belting pound for a pound spew shadow and then we have gallantry gold Plow through, followed by an endless maw, and another yellow smash with big tree. Man, we have smashed a lot of things with big trees. By the way, I just want to say, Gallantry Gold in Bolton may just straight up be better. I think it is. I'm just going to go out and say it. It's straight up better than the legendary warrior equipment from WTR. It's better than Bracers in the in the, the archetype. Because it gives, like, if you're, if you're dual wielding, it gives both of them the buff, right? It gives both uh, axes the buff. And so it's just better, right? That's what I think. Ah, that's what I think. Bounding Demigod, Bolt of Courage, Spears of Surreality. Second swing, we got Eclipse Existence, Impenetrable Belief, Adrenaline Rush, Lunar Tide Plunderer, Frontline Scout. We gotta get something spicy here. Dreamweavers, Ode to Wrath. We've got the Howl from Beyond and Another smash with big tree. What the heck, man? We have smashed three things in a row with big trees, and I like slowly these packs are dwindling, and I'm like, we got three majestics. Dude, are we getting are we just getting hosed by another box? I think we're getting hosed by another box. Ladies and gentlemen, I am taking all of the worst boxes off the market so that you can have all the spice. You're welcome. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I just, look, okay, look, here's, the, it, it's sometimes tough for me, and I don't know if you feel this way too. It's tough for me to go, man, that's a cool pull. Man, that also is a cool pull. Oh man, look at that, that's like God pull. Oh, look at that pull. Oh man, look at that pull. And then I have these pulls, 
and I'm like, okay. Eventually, it just starts to wear. <laughs> it just starts to wear on me. It's like, I mean, I want to be excited for you. I really do, and I'm like, I'm pumped you got some great stuff, but could I also get like, I would like a great, I would like a great box, please. Please and thank you. Oh, if, if this is a zero cold foil box, how spicy would this video be? This would be the spiciest feels bad video. Engulfing light, war tune herald, <laughs> this is Tony Wootenhog. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wish that upon myself now. Oh no. It's gonna, it's gonna be the case. Here we go, Aether, Iron Weave. We have Seek Horizon, followed by a uh, Blue Glisten and a Foil Overload. I, li we have literally, in a row, one, two, three, four, five in a row packs with common, co common foils. We're down to five packs. <sighs> this is Star City Games. I needed a good box. I needed it, and it's just not gonna happen, is it? I should just... I cut my losses. I'll sell the last packs, right? I'll sell the last packs. At least I didn't pay like $500 for this box, right? That would that would be a true feels bad moment. <laughs> God. Oh. So you're welcome. I'm, I'm getting all of these boxes out of the uh, out of the circulation. We have Soul Reaping. Oh, hey, we did get a Phantasm Clasm. This is another card that I actually wanted, a Phantasm Clasm, just because I think it's a cool sounding card and it's really, really strong, followed by a foil uh, Boneyard Marauder. Does it foil in the, in the moon? It does, a little bit, right there. That's cool, I like that. Phantasm Clasm, I'm cool with that. I only have one, so now I need at least one more to play Blitz copies of Phantasm Clasm. Oh no, we have four packs left. We've pulled four Majestics, no cold foil. I'm literally just like having flashbacks. <clears throat> I'm having flashbacks, people. We're doing it again. We're we're doing the same thing that happened. Oh, I put this in the wrong stack, didn't I? Whoops. One, two, three, and then the four. I don't even know what to say. I'm just slowly descending. Slowly descending into like that state just of depression of like oh geez It's really gonna be it's gonna be that kind of a box Halo of illumination seeping shadows Dimensional gateway and an eclipse existence never seen that card in foil before <sighs> Three packs left this is the last light pack then there's two shadow packs I think it's fitting we open the light pack first and then we can uh we can drown ourselves in shadows and sorrow. If I if if this is a no cold foil box, I'm I, I'm literally just I'm just gonna just gonna turn it off for the night. Just gonna hang my hat, which by the way, uh, as a birthday gift, uh, my parents gave me a new hat, which I'm super pumped about. Uh, I got into baseball caps just like wearing baseball caps like five years ago, and I'm a fan. Okay, look, I'm a fan. Oh, hey, we did get a, an Arclight Sentinel, though. Is this the third one we have? I think this is the third one we have. Followed by a Frontline Scout. That means we have three, which means we can play a classic constructed Arclight Sentinel stack. It costs so, it's so expensive, though, man. It's so expensive. I have like friggin' six, you have to pay six for that? I don't know, man. Too much, it's too much, but maybe it's still good. You jam it down there on your opponent's turn. You're like, nah, hold on, please pause. Maybe you do it on your own turn, and then you can refill your hand after you pay for it. Maybe that's like the big play, you just do it on your own turn. I feel like it's cooler as a combat trick to do it on your opponent's turn, because it's an instant. Because if you play it on your turn, your turn's over. One, you're you're playing it and pitching two to pay for it, unless you like do potion stuff. Ironhide, Invigorating Light, Howl from Beyond, Oh, hey, look, a foil, Herald of Erudition. This is my third copy of Herald of Erudition. It's not the extended art, and that's fine. I'm okay with that. It is still beautiful in my eyes. And it is filling out the uh, the Majestic slot, but holy crap. If there's not a cold foil in here, if there's not a cold foil in here,
There was a cold foil in there and it was a double majestic pack. Let's go. Oh my goodness. This was on my list. Holy crap. That's the end of the video. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. In the finish, I did. I could not have planned that better. And it looks pretty good too. Like it's a good looking card. I mean, the there's like whitening on the corners. Uh, centering's a little off, but it's not terrible. Centering's a little off in the front, but I don't care because I want to play this card anyway. Oh my god, what a what an ending to the video! Like holy crap! I may just just for the sake of fun, I may just cut the video literally right when I turned that card. Oh, that felt so much better. Oh, than just finishing so poorly. I was gonna hate, absolutely hate that box if uh, if that was not a cold foil. Jeez, I, do I even have a, like a good, I don't. I feel like I used all my top loaders. Holy crap, I used all my top loaders, everybody. What do I do? I need more top loaders. Someone mail me a top loader so that I can put this card into a, t forget it, who cares? Let's review, <laughs> jeez, holy moly. What a finish. Okay. Phew. I feel better <laughs> about everything now. Deep Rooted Evil in the, in the last pack. Foil. Herald. We have an Arc Light Sentinel. The Phantasm Clasm, which is pretty cool. Sonata Arcanics. We have the Lumina. We have a Raiden Duskbane, number two. And we did, thank the Lord, manage to get a Cold Foil Majestic Luminaris. In a single box from Star City Games. You came through, Star City Games. We got that. We didn't hit a legendary. That's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm just glad that that wasn't the most dumpster fire box. I am so glad at that. Hey, if you liked this video, if you enjoyed watching me freaking sweat all the way to the finish of this one, hit the like and the subscribe. It'll make that number get closer to that number. Look at this. We're already to like almost 3,600. That's pretty awesome. You guys are good at making that number go up. As always, everybody, thanks for watching.